I am very happy with the way the relationship has matured over the last five decades. Uh, it started in 1971 uh, when the people of Nepal spontaneously supported uh, the people of Bangladesh in the war of liberation and for which uh, we remain ever grateful to the people of Nepal. And then uh, uh, during the course of time we had uh, excellent relationship at the political level. Uh, as you know, the Right Honorable President had visited Bangladesh to attend the Bart Centenary of the uh, Father of the Nation and also our celebration of 50 years of independence. And um, our Honorable Pr Prime Minister and Honorable President had also visited Nepal several times uh, uh, during the last 10 years. In the last five decades, we have had uh, many agreements in areas of trade, investment, connectivity, uh, cultural cooperation, water sector cooperation, power sector cooperation, and so on. But unfortunately, the trade volume has not uh, uh, flourished as per the potential. Now the trade is uh, about uh, 100 to 120 million US dollar, which is very uh, small, uh, if you compare with other countries. We must realize that trade is uh, for mutual benefit. Nepal uh, produces many items which Bangladesh can uh, buy at cheaper prices and same is the case uh, for Bangladesh. And uh, uh, realizing this, we are now trying to negotiate an agreement, a preferential trade agreement between our two countries. And if that agreement uh, uh, materializes, uh, our trade will increase uh, significantly. On energy, we are currently negotiating uh, the process to import uh, 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 40 to 50 megawatt of electricity from Nepal to Bangladesh. And our goal is to have a dedicated line from Nepal to Bangladesh to the Indian Territory. On tourism, you know that Nepal is already one of the most uh, favorite destinations of Bangladeshi tourists. And recently, mountain tourism is also increasing uh, as we observe uh, uh, through the number of uh, mountain tourists that uh, come to Nepal. And uh, this will continue to increase. But we are also looking forward to having more Nepalese uh, tourists to Bangladesh to see the sea beaches, uh, the mangrove forests, and tea gardens in Bangladesh. The education sector cooperation is uh, one of the main pillars of our relationship. Uh, there are many Nepalese students who are currently studying in Bangladesh in medical colleges and other universities. And I'm very happy to meet uh, the reputed medical doctors in Nepal who have studied in Bangladesh. So this has potentials to um, increase in the future. Currently, we are uh, providing uh, 22 scholarships at the uh, government medical colleges, and many private universities also provide uh, uh, scholarships to Nepali students. The other students also go for uh, uh, education in different universities on a self-finance basis. But there is a scope to expand the relationship uh, by bringing more Bangladeshi students to Nepal as well. Uh, the Nepalese um, education system is uh, uh, very good. The quality of education is very high. And if we get the exposure to Nepalese uh, uh, education system, that would be beneficial for Bangladesh as well. So it can start with uh, offering of some scholarships to Bangladeshi students by Nepalese uh, universities or colleges. In the last few decades, we are facing a mul multiple number of crises. Uh, climate change was uh, already there. Then the pandemic started, then financial crisis, and now to war. And there are um, predictions that there will be food, fuel, or fertilizer crisis in the future also. So in this situation, I think uh, Bangladesh and Nepal and countries like ours have no option but to work together uh, in the multilateral and regional platforms. Uh, 
uh, I think um, we should uh, work very hard to have a, uh, a mechanism for cooperation uh, to, to face this crisis. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have not ab been able to make the best use of uh, the most potential platforms as of now for political divide. My personal view is that we have to delink uh, politics from trade or investment for our mutual benefit. Yes, uh, in 2026, which is only four years away, we will be graduating uh, from the LDC group to middle income group. But uh, with that graduation, we will have uh, multiple challenges. We will not uh, have the international support measures that we are having right now. There will be no duty-free, quota-free access, no soft loans, no technological support, or uh, no waiver of uh, international, uh, no waiver of intellectual property rights. So there will be some difficulties uh, to uh, have access of our products uh, uh, in the international market. Uh, so what we need to do is to have a mechanism to create interdependences uh, to absorb the shocks that we will be facing at that time. I think we have to make our products competitive through using uh, technology and also use uh, innovative approaches in production. We have to um, uh, increase our uh, productivity. We have to um, mobilize our domestic resources and also have more investment in education and health sector and particularly in skill development. Uh, as for an example, Nepal is producing electricity in abundance. Nepal can use electricity for increasing the productivity of its products uh, for making it uh, more viable, more cost effective. I think it is uh, absolutely feasible. Uh, I can say this without being an expert. But the only constraint is uh, political will. We have to realize that import and export of electricity will be in our mutual benefit. I think India will of course uh, support this uh, because we have been given the understanding that India wants a robust, uh, functional and uh, sustainable uh, connectivity framework in the entire sub-region. So there is no reason uh, for India to oppose this. Uh, I think uh, they will uh, extend their support uh, uh, to this connectivity. Uh, there is no sensitivity in this case. Uh, uh, we do not uh, need to be worried. Uh, there are some people who may raise some irrational or unnecessary questions over the security issues, but there is no security issue as such. It is a wire uh, which will go underground or overground. So our um, responsibility will be to dispel any worries from any quarters about the security. We will always welcome uh, 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 transit of uh, goods, Nepali goods, using Bangladeshi territory, using Bangladeshi ports. This is, uh, this we have announced already. This is as a part of our commitment to regional uh, cooperation and also our abiding friendship to the people of Nepal. On our part, we have uh, already built all the infrastructure and we are ready to offer these facilities to Nepal. And I think um, if this route can be used, uh, the exports and imports of Nepali products will be much cheaper and uh, cost effective and that will have an impact on Nepal's international trade and economy.